1973 Volkswagen Type 2 bay window. This is a 1600cc bus, as you can see. Um, Right-hand drive, 1600cc, like I mentioned. Um, it is originally the pale blue and white. Uh, as you can see, this one's had some metal work. It's sort of a part-finished cosmetic project. Um, it was driven down to us from Northumberland, so it's driven about 30 or 40 miles away. Um, apparently last year it actually did a journey all the way down to Silverstone and back, didn't miss a beat. Um, it's been with us sort of two or three days now. It starts on the button, which I'll show you in a second. It does seem to run well. Um, it's not rotten by any state. It's obviously had quite a bit of work done already. We'll start by having a look at the bodywork. If you look down that side, you can see it's been a lot of metal work done down that side because it is lovely and straight all the way down. Got a little bit of bubbling still at the bottom of this door here, which you can see there. Um, but obviously, as you can see, the door is still in paint. It hasn't hasn't been done yet but the uh, the sill along the bottom and that arch and that lip all the way around is lovely and sharp a little, little bit of bubbling on the door so the door itself wants attention uh, but you can see in here is all nice and tidy we've got a little bit of staining from where the sort of slightly rusty bit on the door has been been sat on the primer but it is just wiping off when you rub it um, it's on porsche teledial wheels which again if you're into your vws you'll know it's quite a common wheel for this this year of bus uh, the chrome work on this side is, is quite pitted, so that will need done. Um, but all the trim around the windows and the glass itself is all nice, all the way down the side. You've got a sliding window on this side as well. That's all good. Along the rail, there is a bit of bubbling here and there, but again, if you push on it, it is pretty solid. It's not too far gone. It's definitely worth saving. And we do have a rollback rooftop on there as well. Must have a bit of a leak at the front there because it has been sealed up. The rest of the roof, as you can see, looks to be pretty good. Have a look from this side again. It is nice and straight all the way up and down there. You can see that sill all the way along. We've got a bit of a chip there. The lip all the way along is nice and tidy. The floors look to be good. And then this rear arch again, nice and sharp all the way around. On the filler cap, again, nice and tidy. I can say it was a Project started with the best of intentions, like we all do. Done a lot of the work, but just doesn't have the time to finish it now. A little bit of pitting on the chrome bumper, but not too bad. Good polish will make a big difference in that, but it's, it's nice and straight. It's not all dinged up or anything like that, as you can see. And the seams in this area are all nice. And again, with the ex ex exceptions of the doors, it's all been done around here. We've got a little bit of a bubbling just there. Um, I believe this project was started about five years ago stalled about four years ago it's been used sort of sparingly here and there but it's it has stalled like i say as you can see again up this side all of the metal work nice and straight on the bottom here all good this arch is nice all the along the sill on there all the glass on this side is good as is the trim around it and all the seals same story but not quite as bad on this side the gut is actually pretty good on this side again this door a little bit of bubbling on the bottom, um, but the passenger door has already been repaired, as you can see from the bottom, it's in primer. So that's what it wants done on the other side. Again, in here you can see nice and straight as well. Coming round onto the front, a little bit of bubbling here and there. Apparently this was the sort of next bit that we're going to move on to was the front. So in the usual spots around the headlights, bottom of the indicators, all that sort of stuff. Um, but they have done where the bumper mounts, as you can see. A bit of look underneath there. Along the bottom of the windscreen does seem to be good as well. It's sort of a normal, quite a bad comp problem area, but it does seem to be all right. A little bit around the uh, washer jet. But again, it is solid when you push on it. Along the top of the screen, you've got a couple of sort of stone chips that have bubbled up, um, but nothing major. The glass itself all nice and tidy. Moving on to the interior. So it's got Saab 9.3 front seats, which again, along with the Teledales, is a pretty common mod for a Type 2. Uh, paint the steering wheel, it's got some marks and chips and patina on it, but other than that, all good. 132,000 miles on this one. We'll detail what we've got in the way of service history. I believe there's a decent sized folder as well. On the top of the dash is all nice, as is this trim piece, which is normally awful. That's pretty good. It's got a separate or an additional oil pressure gauge there. You'll notice it's got a, a gas meter. Um, so the engine has been replaced relatively recently in current ownership. I'll detail in the description what we know about that. Um, but the previous engine was run on gas. They haven't connected that back up. 
Um, it's not something you see very often. I don't know why you'd want to run a little air cooled VW on gas. Bit of wear on the seats, um, but they are nice and firm. They haven't collapsed or anything like that. Moving around on the passenger side. Nice and tidy on that door card. This seat has worn a lot better than the other side. See that Saab Aero logo there as well. This side of the dash is all good. We've got a Alpine uh, head unit in there as well. And then into the back, they've got it sort of done as a bus. I believe that is a rock and roll bed. It does have gas heating as well if you want to use that with a controller just there. Um, and it is a, uh, it's a Propex system in there. All your plaques nice and visible in the corner there. Additional little jump seat there. Floor's nice and solid. If I get in it, I'm a heavy old boy. If I can get, if I can get in and move around, that's always a good sign. Headlining wise, we've got the sort of bare wood, the lights and everything. So sort of do what you want with really. Um, speakers mounted at the back, a little bit more storage there as well. Plenty of space in there. We've got the curtains and everything in here. It's nice and dry in here. No sign of any moisture getting stuck in there or anything like that. And then round at the back, trimmed the same as the bed. You've got this additional cushion. If we have a look underneath there, it's got a bit of sound deadening. That's about it. Um, now this looks like a spare wheel, but it is the original gas tank. Not being used anymore, like I say, it's not plumbed in. And then under here, obviously, you've got your 1600cc engine, um, which I, I know they've sort of used regularly. They've said that they've, you've been down to Silverstone and all that sort of stuff. It's got the got the sticker to prove it. It was driven down to us. It's it's always started and ran nice while it's been here. I've briefly had it down the road. It drives well. Gearbox seems nice, all that sort of stuff. No other heating issues that I can tell. Um, but like I said, the old one ran on gas. This one doesn't, they have disconnected it. The tank's still there, the controller's still there, but it is disconnected. Shut that door and we'll, uh, we'll get it fired up does occasionally have a bit of a lazy starter motor, but it does always seem to start quite happily. There you go, so it starts on the button. Nothing nasty flying out the back. Like I say, it was driven to us. Seems happy enough. So there you go, 1973 Volkswagen Type 2 Bay Window. Any questions, please get in touch, thank you.